is not only the football game, but it's here at the Cuisine at the Fair. I'm here with Martin Zabel. Now, Mark, you are famous for what? Uh, deep fried strawberry chocolate covered waffle balls. Now, tell me what's in the waffle ball. They're actually chocolate covered strawberries dipped in waffle batter than deep fried. And you guys are a finalist here at the fair for some award. Can you tell me about that? Uh, every year, the Big Tech Choice Awards, they have all the vendors um, come up with different food ideas. There was 47 entrances uh, this year, and we made it to the top six. Well, it looks delicious. Tell me how you thought about coming up with a waffle ball. I, I was playing around with what I had in the stand last year, and then uh, I had some issues with the batter staying on the strawberry, so then over the rest of the year, I started dipping it in chocolate and going that route. All right, well, we're filling up on waffle balls out here. Now let's rejoin Jim Knox. Oklahoma against Texas. We have lucky Longhorn Larry here and wild about Harry for the Sooners. We'll look at the Longhorns offense going against that Sooners defense. Longhorns with Colt McCoy at quarterback, one of the top quarterbacks right now in the nation. And you like that, lucky Larry. But Harry, yeah, yeah. Harry going against that Sooners defense. Will Colt McCoy be picture perfect? Give me a break, son. That's the reason our blood runs red up there. <laughs> so no way. What about it, Lucky Larry? Let me tell you boy. what. Here's what I want the Oklahoma fans to do. Take the game and then fast forward. They might move at normal speed. <laughs> they are slow. Yeah. They're not fast. Texas oh, all the way. Yeah. All right. Colt McCoy also has Chris Obanai who has an outstanding back. He could make a difference. No, no, Colt McCoy, his arm should be a registered weapon. I'm telling you right now, Texas is going to send a million dunce caps to everyone on the team as well as the fans because our coach is going to make them look stupid. All right. Yeah! Has Sam Bradford Wait. ever faced a defense like the long Sammy, one? Sammy no. Bradford is an intellectual quarterback. He's not muffling all that old gunk stuff. This kid's a sharp quarterback, man. He shot 59 on the golf course last week. He's everybody's quarterback in Oklahoma and North Texas. All right. Oh! Lucky Longhorn. Oh! What My advice to Sammy. Here's what you do. On the back of your helmet, strap a big pillow. You're going to be on your back so many times, you might as well just take a nap. Leading the nation in sacks. Oh! Oh! All right. OK, now let's talk about predictions. All right, Lucky Larry, you're first. Give us your prediction on oh, the That's the score. Easy, 57 to 3. Sooners? Are you kidding me? Oh, the Texas oh. Longhorns, we're going to give them three because All they're right. bad. Well, let me tell you something. Bob Stoops is six and three right now. He's fixing to be seven and three. And why do you think Daryl Royal retired early? <laughs> All right. So Sooners, Longhorns, enjoy the game. <laughs> this week's game day rivals game ball goes to Texas Tech quarterback Graham Harrell. In the Red Raiders Conference opener against Kansas State, Harrell passed for 554 yards along with six touchdowns. So congratulations to Graham Harrell who picks up this week's Game Day Rivals Game Ball. Our search for Bud Light's ultimate tailgater had UL Texas and Oklahoma fans on top of their game. Both Longhorn and Sooner fans were strutting their stuff. Everyone seemed to be salivating over those game day spreads which featured plenty of good food, as well as family, friends, and games around Mike Massey's Sooner camp. It's the game before the game, basically. Now to a big hit in Longhorn camp. Horn fan hoopty, it's Sean Pike's fine ride. Horn Fan Hoopty is a main attraction on game day. The custom paint job is all about the Longhorns with custom seats, antenna, and rims. Horn Fan Hoopty is a Longhorn fan's picture perfect ride. People seem to have a good time with it. We have everybody coming up. All the time we have people stop, ask, can I take a picture with the car? Can I do this? We're like, yeah. And before you leave, make sure you get some to eat. Sean Pike has been tailgating around Horn Fan Hoopty for eight years and Sean knows exactly what he enjoys best about tailgating. The food, the people, the atmosphere, that makes a great tailgate party. 
Later, our search for Bud Light's ultimate tailgater continues with perhaps the biggest tailgate fan we have so far come across. Hey, what kind of light beer do you want? Uh, it doesn't matter. They're all the same. Whoa, all the same? Are they all as easy to drink as Bud Light? Isn't water from this hose easier to drink than water from this one? Isn't this bottle easier to drink from than this one? And wouldn't you agree that a raindrop is easier to drink than hail? The point is, there's a difference, and Bud Light has it. It's called drinkability. The just right taste that makes Bud Light so easy to drink. Bud Light, the difference is drinkability. What?